Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to calculate outliers in your data using Excel. You can complete this in just a matter of minutes. Now, it's going to be some steps here. The first step, we're going to calculate quartiles. Now, if you don't know what quartiles are, it is not a necessity to find outliers in your data. However, it will help if you know what they are. So I'm going to leave a description in the comment section below. The second step, we're going to calculate the upper limit and the lower limit of our data. So anything above the top limit is going to be an outlier. Anything lower than the lowest limit is going to be an outlier. So we're going to evaluate the results after we calculate them. So I've quickly prepared some data for us. You can see the data here. It's an array of data. We can almost visually see where the outliers are. But let's imagine you have a huge data set. You don't have time to visually go through each one of those values and determine if they're an outlier or not. So we're going to leverage the functions within Excel to tell us if we have an outlier or not. So here are the first couple of steps. We're going to calculate the first quartile, the third quartile, and then we're going to calculate the inner quartile range. This is going to allow us to determine the upper limit and the lower limit of our data. So first, let's calculate the first quartile. We're going to use a quartile function in Excel. So equals, then you're going to start typing quartile. You can see the function there. Click it. Now, the first argument is the array or your data. Highlight your data, comma, and then you can see a little dialog box pop up. It gives us some options. We can calculate the minimum value, the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, or the maximum value. We know we want the first quartile. Click one, close your parentheses, hit enter. Now we know the first quartile. Let's get the third quartile. Same steps. Highlight your data. Then the only difference here, we want the third quartile. You can type three or just click here. Close your parentheses. Now we want to calculate the inner quartile range. Now we need an absolute value there, which means we need it to be positive. So, and because it's a range, we know it's going to be the difference between these two. And it says inner quartile range. So just take the highest value minus lowest value or your quartile, your third quartile minus your first quartile, and then you have the inner quartile range. So what does that allow us to do? That allows us to calculate our upper limit of our data and the lower limit of our data. So how do we do that? Go to the upper section. We know anything higher. So we want anything higher than our upper bound limit. So how do we calculate the limit? So we take our highest value, which is our third quartile, and we add that to 1.5 times our inner quartile range. And then we're going to get the upper bound limit of our data. Now we want to get the lower limit of our data, the lower boundary. We're going to take our lowest quartile. And because we want the lower limit, subtract instead of adding. And we know we want 1.5 times our inner quartile range. And this is going to give us our lower limit. So now we know anything higher than this value is an outlier. Anything lower than this value is an outlier. So that's very easy to see. We can see our outliers there. But again, we want to do this efficiently across a large data set. So let's use a logical function to tell us if these values fall above our upper bound or lower than our lower bound. So let's use the OR function. OR, and the log first logical function says, is this data higher than our upper bound limit. And then we want the second 
logical argument. We want to know if our value is less than our lower bound. Now, let's get the answer. So we know this is not an outlier. Now, of course, we want to drag this formula down. But before we do that, we need to make sure that these two cells are locked. Because if we drag it down, they're going to change. So take your F, F2, which is where the value is, and click. Make it an absolute value. How do you do that? Just press F4. And then we know we don't want this one to move either. So press F4. Hit Enter. Now you can drag that formula down, and you can see where your outliers are. Here's an outlier, because we see true. Here's an outlier, because we see true. So one, two, three outliers in our data. That's how you quickly calculate outliers in Excel. Thank you.